very happy to present the next C4 Lifetime Achievement Award 2024 to Mrs. Anjali Jaipuria, Vice Chairperson, Integral Educational Society. This Lifetime Achievement Award is presented to Mrs. Anjali Jaipuria, an educationalist whose visionary leadership has profoundly impacted the Indian education landscape as Vice Chairperson of the Integral Education Society at Sait MR Jaipuria School Group, Mrs. Jaipuria has dedicated herself to pioneering fundamental changes in education. Mrs. Jaipuria scholarly pursuits in Sri Aurobindo's and Mother's evolutionary work, internal yoga, scare texted. So ladies and gentlemen, her leadership at Sait MR Jaipuria School, Lucknow, which is consistently ranked amongst India's top school. Her commitment to academic excellence and holistic development, her initiative, provides high quality educational unserved children, offering them the same opportunities. And their peers at Sait MR Jaipuria School as an honorary managing trustee of the Mother's Institute of Research, Mrs. Jaipuria has overseen the publication of 200 books. This is so amazing. Congratulations, ma'am. We are so delighted to have you. Mrs. Anjali Jaipuria, exceptional contribution to education, her dedication, spiritual wisdom and modern learning has been giving us Amazing, amazing Lifetime Achievement Awards. And ladies and gentlemen, I am very honored to have her on the stage. I request you to please share a few words with us. Well, good morning. Namaste. Pranam to everybody. It's a privilege and an honor to be on the stage today to receive this award. And thank you to C4 School Rankings, Mr. Paleti, and Brain Feet, Mr. Brahma. Thank you so much. Um... Everything has been already been said by Lieutenant Ray. But all I'd like to say is there's a big difference between literacy and education. And what is the difference? When we are giving the ABCs and the one, two, threes, and the science and the, you call it holistic education. But I don't think holistic education is really holistic. If you haven't woven, a spiritual curriculum into it. You can keep make the children ready for getting maybe jobs or becoming entrepreneurs. But are you really turning them into good human beings? And for that, being Indians, being Bharatiyas, to not root our children into the culture of India. And I don't see any other way to do it but by integrating our curriculum with a Sanskrit curriculum. Because we are living in India, we cannot deny that. And when you have a, in Jaipuria schools, all of our schools, we have a curriculum from playgroup right up to grade 8, mandatory. And that roots our children into the culture of India and turns them into good human beings. What's the difference between the culture and the education and the literacy that we had prior to the Britishers coming and changing everything? This is the only difference. And we never got it back for many reasons. So all of us who are stakeholders in the nation building program, it all depends on what kind of spiritual education is woven into our curriculum. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Can you please give the word to her? Thank you so much means a lot. Congratulations to all the awardees. We are so happy and delighted and giving you all the good luck and congratulations on the way. Thank you so much. Okay, let's have a big round of applause everyone. A moment of victory we must say and we present Lifetime Achievement Award to Mrs. Anjali Jaipuria, Vice Chairperson. So ladies and gentlemen, very happy and congratulating her. Thank you so much.